Today, I'm gonna wash my RV, and I'm gonna take you along for the ride to show you how simple that it is. First of all, you can haul this thing to a facility to basically be able to wash the RV. It costs money, and it's kind of a pain if you're stationary and you don't wanna move. Or you can pay somebody to come wash your RV for you, but that also costs money. My favorite thing to do is to just do it myself. I wash my RV myself, I wash my truck myself. A couple things I need for this. I need a telescoping collapsible wash brush. Additionally, I use a wash mitt. Again, soft, safe for um, side of vehicles. I use this uh, collapsible bucket. I love these things, I got two of them. They make it a lot easier to tote this around and store it. You can wash it with a pressure washer. I just use a hose. I don't like having to store my pressure washer in my pass-through storage, so nozzle it is and you just got to get a good nozzle that's got um, enough settings to actually do what you need it to do this is the soap i use i use chemical guys uh, this is the extreme body wash and wax really anything that washes it is fine anything that's meant for automotive will be fine for this so this is what i like so this is what i use um, if you have a, a, a an automotive wash that you like i'm pretty sure it'll probably be fine for your rv and then i also use this telescoping um, ladder I love a telescoping ladder because it takes up less space and it's easy to use and easy to store in your pass-through storage. Um, and you need a ladder to get to the roof of your RV. So just a brief overview of how we do this, we want to start at the top. I have um, a lot of pine trees where I'm at, so I have pine needles and pine sap. And so the top of my RV is constantly covered. So I want to start at the top. I want to rinse everything down, get all that grime down the side of my RV because if I wash the sides and then spray off the top, all that debris will go down right where I washed. So it, it doesn't work that way. You, you create more work for yourself. So start at the top. Once all that debris is washed off, then you really, really scrub and clean um, with your soap and your brush. One thing you can do that is really beneficial is take the time when you're on the roof of your RV to inspect your sealant, all your seams up there, all the sealant. This is an important part of your, your routine RV maintenance, and we don't always get on the roof of our RV. So I get on the roof of my RV when I'm dealing with the AC and dealing with the washing. So every time I'm doing one of those things, I really get up there and I put my hands on the sealant. I put my hands on it to make sure that it's, it's solid. Um, and I'll show you a little bit about how I do that, but let's get started.
All right, so it takes a little bit of time to do it by hand and without a pressure washer, but it can be done and it's nice and therapeutic on a nice, lovely, hot summer day. A couple things to note um, as you watch me do this. Um, I have a ton of pine needles and pine sap. So this video is about washing this. I'll make a different video about how to remove pine sap from uh, your RV because it's a little bit different of a process. So as you can see, it's something that anybody can do. You just need a couple things and uh, you're good to go. Save a little bit of money and get outside and enjoy the sun. And uh, if you have any questions or any ideas of videos you'd like me to make in the future, make sure to leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe.